Good tidings, ladies and gentlemen of the Lodge. How goes it? We are serving up a different type of video today. One that will be focusing on the savage nymph herself, Larkseed. Or, as we will soon come to know her as, Elrena. Now, what I mean when I say this is a different type of video, what I mean is we aren't here to ponder a theory, or ask questions, or necessarily dissect the plot. Instead, I want to give my take on why I feel Larkseen matters to not only the future of this story, but that she is vitally important to the cast of characters, and that without her, some of our beloved characters run the risk of potentially becoming stale. So, I want to split this video into two parts. First, I want to recap where Larkseen currently stands in the plot, and second, I want to explain her importance to the cast of characters moving forward. So first, let's identify Larkseen's place in the story. And the truth is, there's no talking about Larkseen without talking about Marluxia. The same goes for the inverse. The two first met in Daybreak Town, and their meeting is a pivotal point for Larkseen. Now, just for the future of this video's sake, even though at this time they went by Elrena and Lorium, I'll be referring to them as Larkseen and Marluxia for the whole video, just to avoid confusion. Marluxia is looking for his sister, Sherlitia, and he approaches Larkseen, seeing if she might know anything about his sister's disappearance. Larkseen is deeply touched by Marluxia's devotion to his sister, and wishes to help him solve the mystery. Larkseen's Cheerthy notes that Larkseen usually doesn't concern herself with other people, let alone their business. This suggests that she is, in a sense, a loner, or perhaps not the most social, and keeps her walls up. Fast forward to when they both become nobodies. As we see, Larkseen and Marluxia are like two peas in a pod. Where one goes, so does the other. Together they concoct plans to overthrow the organization, and work together to see it to fruition. We see this play out mostly in Chain of Memories, and we see it a little bit in Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. It's interesting to see that even without their memories of Daybreak Town, they still have a compulsion to work together and collaborate. It's only after being defeated in the Keyblade Graveyard that Marluxia remembers his search for his sister, and that Larkseen comes clean about her motives as well. Become that geezer's heart tank? No thanks. Then why help him? <laughs> I was really just along for the ride. With... <sighs> My secret. Now, to be clear, we don't know for absolute sure who she's talking about here, but to me it seems quite clear, at least at this time, that she's talking about Marluxia. There are two big reasons this is important. One, if you believe Marluxia and Larkseen's hunt to find Sherlitia is over, you are sadly mistaken. I have a feeling now that these two have been recompleted, that they are going to reignite their search for her, and may try to bring her back by whatever means necessary. In many ways, this can be foreshadowed by Marluxia's words here. Oh, so now it all comes back to me. <laughs> hey, is that a real laugh? Yes, my heart is remembering how to feel. Really? That's good. And now, I am on the cusp of reclaiming my identity. My purpose for being. Thanks to you, Sora. This already sets up both Marluxia and Larkseen with a motive, now that their time as nobodies is done. The second, and in my opinion more important reason, is because there is a story to be told with Larkseen that just isn't available with any of the other characters in the series right now. For reference, let's take a peek at Larkseen's character file entitled Wise Up Girl. If you want to read the full thing yourself, I will have a link for you all in the description, but for the sake of keeping this video focused, I'm just going to bring up some of the most peculiar lines from this. All these lines point to one thing, that having a heart is painful. Loving someone is painful. The idea of losing someone you love is painful. 
losing, being deceived, not knowing things, all painful. Now, we've seen characters share this sentiment, most notably Xemnas in Kingdom Hearts 3. What makes Lark seem different here is that she doesn't have an option to not feel pain. Based on her writings here, we see that she refers to her feelings for Marluxia as a secret, because the pain of Marluxia rejecting her might be too much for her to bear. See where this is going? Everyone in this series, at least on the light side, seem to have no hesitation attaching themselves to other people. After all, hearts are stronger when they're connected. But with Lark seen, we now have a character who is apprehensive about it and needs to overcome her own internal issues and insecurities and learn to open herself up to the world and the people around her. We have all had a fear of being vulnerable in our lives, and I think Kingdom Hearts has a unique opportunity to display what it's like to have that fear of vulnerability at that deep of a level, and to watch a character overcome it. In a sense, Larxene's fear of the pain having a heart causes can give us a unique insight on the nature of the heart itself. But now let's talk about the other big reason I believe Larxene matters. Diversity of personality. Let's be honest, as much as we all love a lot of the female characters in Kingdom Hearts, be it Kairi, Naminé, Shion, Aqua, Ava, Envy, and so on, the truth is, all these characters are relatively kind, sweet, and at their best, benevolent. Now, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but without character diversity, some of those character traits might run stale. That's where Lark's scene comes in. Instead of kind and sweet, she is a cold, ruthless woman. And in truth, this is what makes her character a lot of fun. It's led us to some lines that are quite cold and badass. <sighs> All right, have it your way then. I know it'll kill you to hear this, but I think I can live with that. And other lines that are quite sadistic and honestly funny. You're gonna be recompleted. I didn't ask you for your garbage opinion. <laughs> of course it stole your spot. You're dumb as a brick. <laughs> Hardy har. And beyond all of that, this is important because in truth, we can't just have all of our heroes be sweet, kind, and always virtuous. We need someone like Larxene because in truth, there are probably a lot of people that can relate to her and her fear of vulnerability. In fact, when you think about it, Larxene and Elsa aren't so different. They've in a sense put up walls around their heart and are afraid to set it free. Huh, is that why she was in Arendelle? Anyway, we also can't have all of the female protagonists be sweethearts because in truth, not every woman is a sweetheart. Every man will tell you that, and every woman listening to this will tell you that. There are those like Larxene who do have a little bit of spice to them who do carry a cold, apathetic demeanor as a self-defense mechanism, and who hide their true feelings about others out of fear of rejection. We've all been there. When laying out the cast of characters, the truth is that there's just nobody in the cast that's similar to Larxene. On top of that, it could be loads of fun to explore a character whose biggest obstacle is coming to the terms with the consequences of having a heart. In a sense, that has been done before, but not in the way that Larxene is coping with it. At the end of the day, in this ever-growing cast of characters, Larxene remains unique. There is nobody to parallel her with, and she is going to play a big role in linking our current events back to the time in Daybreak Town. But hey, that's all I'm gonna have for all of you today. Do you think Larxene slash Elrena will have a significant role moving forward? Or do you feel as though her time in the spotlight has expired? Me personally, I hope they find ways to include her moving forward, not just for the reasons I spoke about before, but also because Larxene was one of my favorite members of the organization. So I'll be hoping to see more of her in the future. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see all of you beautiful sickos and normies next time.